welcome back so this is my first video tutorial this year so happy new year to everyone um, so I am going to continue building the comment comment list and comment form from the first react component that we have built last year building a simple and realistic comment box and I will continue it further so I strongly recommend you to go through that lesson first which will be in the description or in the cards and uh, before coming to this one because this will be built on the version that we have already built okay so let's cover the following topics in this lecture today compose comment list and comment form components usage of props discussion on component properties adding markdown and hook up the data model now before switching over to visual studio i would like to show you the running application the application that we'll be building by the end of this lecture so let's see this in action so this is the finished application at the end of the session today this is how it looks you know this is the list of comments this is these are the comments and this is under the comments and these are the comments uh, author and comment text and this is a comment form which will built in the upcoming lectures so let's now flip over to visual studio so first of all, let's build skeletons for the comment list and comment form, which will again be simple divs. So we'll do it in the existing, this is the comment box, okay, within the tutorial.js, JSX. So I will put these two from my clipboard and keeping the comment block, uh, comment box class intact and the react dom dot render intact. So I'll build the skeletal comment list and comment form exactly in the same way that we build the skeletal comment box okay which was showing hello world i am comment box so next we'll update the comment box component so this component will update to use these new components so how will we do that we'll keep the div tag and end div as it is and in within the div and end div tag I will include uh, this comments and comment list and comment form. Okay. So first one is H1 header. So within this, there will be comments that is just a HTML header. I still have to build the comments component and below the h1 header and tag we will put the comment list and comment form exactly just like a html tag comment list and then comment form and then save it and indent it every bit to bring it below now notice that we are making mixing html tags and components so this is html tags and this is these are two components comment list and comment form comment list and comment form we are mixing the two uh, HTML tags and the components. HTML tags are React component just like the ones we define, but they have one difference. The JavaScript compiler will automatically rewrite HTML tags to react.createElement within brackets, tag name, expressions, and leave the everything else alone. This is to prevent the pollution of the global namespace. Now we will create the comment component which will depend on the data passed in from the comment list component. So comment list contains the child comments. Okay, comment list is a parent. So data passed in from the comment list component is available as property on our comment component. So let's do that first. So I've just put it on my 
clipboard. So I'll paste it over here, class comment, just above the comment list. And then save it. So this uses the props. So what are props? Props are the properties. So these properties are accessed through this dot props. So using so this dot props dot author and this dot props dot children. So using props, we will be able to read the data passed into the comment from the comment list and also render some markup. And by surrounding it with JavaScript expression with braces inside the JSX file, okay we can drop text or react components into the tree. We access named attributes passed to the component as keys on this.props and any nested elements as this.props.children. So now that we have defined the comment component, we want to pass it the author name and the comment text. Okay. So this allows us to reuse the same code for each unique comment. Now let's add some comments within our comment list. So because comment list is actually going to feed, this is the parent for the comment. So this will, let's put a few comment list also. So I have just got it on the clipboard to save a lot of time and I'll paste it over here within the div class name comment list. So this will be comment, author, Daniel, hello negro, hello react, js.net comment author and this comment text, comment author, comment text, comment author, comment text. Okay, we'll come to this asterisk before and after another in a bit. So now that we have passed some data from the parent comment list, now this, this is the parent comment list to the child comment. Now remember, let's revisit the slideshow. Now to recall, we have the following component structure again that we have learned in the first part or the first lecture. You know, this is the comment box on the top. This is the comment box which we are building, which has got comment list as a parent, which has got some comments or comment and then comment form and comment form and comment list are on the same level and comment box is the parent of everything. Right. So let's switch over to Visual Studio again. Now look at this, you know, we have got this comment author, Daniel Lo Negro, and this comment author is passed via the author attribute, this dot props dot author. And this, uh, the text, hello react chase dot net, like the XML child node to the first comment, okay, as the first comment, this dot props dot children. So in this comment component, this comment will access these properties through the this.props.author and this.props.children attributes. Okay, markups. Now, markdown is a simple way to format your text in line. For example, surrounding text with asterisk like this here, text, text surrounded by asterisk with make it emphasized. So in this tutorial, we will be using a third party library called Remarkable, which makes markdown text and convert it to raw HTML. We already include this library in the original markup for the page, so we can start using it right away. Let's convert the comment text to markdown and output it. So for adding the markdown in this same tutorial.jsx file, I create a function on top paste the copied code, create remarkable and then call this create remarkable. Okay. So what we will do is in this comment component, uh, render above the return statement after the render opens. So I'll create a constant MD markdown and I'll call this create remarkable method. this copy it and we'll change this code, this line of code with 
this line markdown this constant markdown dot render this dot props dot children dot to string all we are doing here is finding and calling the remarkable library we need to convert this dot props dot children which was earlier as you have seen from react's wrap text to a raw string that remarkable will understand so we explicitly call two string method but there is a problem our render comments look like this in the browser you know it looks like this so this will be rendered on the browser if i render it on the browser like this paragraph end paragraph and emphasis m and end m so this is not what we want we want those tags to actually render as html and that's react protecting you from an xss attack so we'll cover xss attack in another um, lecture for now this is out of scope and there is a way to get around it but the framework warns you not to use it okay so i will like to sh show you the way to get around it although the framework doesn't uh, um, is not very happy for you to use it even warns you not to use it so that part of the code is this so raw markup is you know you are setting a new uh, instance of remarkable and then creating another raw markup which is using this remarkable dot render this dot props dot children dot to string and then return this underscore html colon raw, raw markup and then render instead of the previous uh, return statement it is now changed to class name comment author this dot props dot author and then span dangerously set in your html is this dot raw markup now this is a special api that intentionally makes it difficult to insert raw html but for remarkable we'll take advantage of this backdoor so actually you have to remember by using this feature you are relying on remarkable to be secure in this case remarkable automatically strips html markup and insecure links from the output so that makes it more secure and again so far we have been inserting the comments directly in the source code now instead let's render a blob of json data into the comment list eventually this will come from the server but for now you write it in our source which is this file tutorial.jsx file so i copy another piece of code over here just below the function so that's a constant data which has got id author and text this is a json blob you can see that this is a json blob you can see and then we need to get this data into the comment list you know into the comment list in a modular way so we have to modify the comment box and the react dom dot render call to pass this data into the comment list via props like this like this you know comment box all that i need to change to incorporate this data this json blob is comment list where data equals within curly braces this dot can you guess this dot prop property okay this dot props dot data all right and then comment form component is as it is and then save the file and then in this react dom dot render all that is needed to change is to initialize data here after the comment box equals within brace pair of curly brace data that is for evaluation okay if it is within the curly braces pair of curly braces and save this data now the data is available in the comment list okay so let's render the comments dynamically now all that is needed to change is you can paste this code over here and this render i will just explain it in a bit and then this return statement instead of all of this stuff so this stuff will not be hard coded anymore you get rid of this and all that will be required here is to use this constant comment nodes it is just 
evaluated over here so comment notes all right so comment notes and end div and close this uh, bracket and semicolon and these two end curly braces now here you could after changing so you can get rid of these uh, brackets so you can simply write return and div just intended to every bit div class name comment list and within the this div node you have got this comment nodes which comes from here and then this semicolon you can put it up and then get rid of this now this comment nodes is a constant now you already know what is the props this is the properties and then this is using this data this blob okay so data blob over here that we have built json data and then it is mapping and then it is creating a comment variable which points to comment this is the comment node where the author is commented author with a key commented it and id and author are coming from this json blob okay that's the getting the data and then the comment dot text it will just render in that fashion so comments author and comments id and comments text and that's it now i have started the application by clicking this is express link and this is my final finished product so comments daniel lo negro hello react js.net so this is the comment author this is the comment text comment author comment text comment author comment text so i've been able to successfully build a comments with a comment list and a comment form so there we are this is our finished product for now and in the next lecture whenever that is i will be giving the getting the data from actual controller from the server side okay so see you